I am Neha Parashan working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In today's video we are on last step of the IND preparation and that is completion of clinical trial and ending of IND application. So there can be two possibilities for ending the clinical trial. First, our clinical trial is completed and that's why we want to close it. In this case, we as a sponsor, we need to notify to US FDA that our clinical trial is completed as per the annual report regulations. And second, if our clinical trial is not completed, but we do not want to continue further with our studies due to some reasons or FDA does not allow our clinical trials to be continued due to some safety risk, then in these cases, the IND may be ended by either sponsor or by FDA. So there are three categories for ending the IND application. First is IND withdrawal. Second is IND inactivation and the third is IND termination. Let's see each of them one by one. First is IND withdrawal. The IND application can be withdrawn if we do not want to proceed further in our studies, right? But the question is who initiates this? So this is done by us as a sponsor as we are the one who want to withdraw our application, right? Then the next question comes how to do that. So we need to inform US FDA by a notification letter that we want to withdraw our IND application. We need to notify the FDA that all the investigations must end and that all the investigators are notified. If it is withdrawn due to some safety reason, then the IRB and all participating investigator must be informed. We need to clearly inform US FDA why do we want to withdraw our application, okay? So once we know who initiates this, and how to do that, then the next question comes if the IND application is withdrawn. And now if we want to reactivate it, then is there any procedure to do so? So it is very important for us to know that if IND is withdrawn once, then there is no means to reactivate it again. And we have to submit a new submission with a new IND number. So that will be a new process again. Okay, so this was all about the IND withdrawal. And the second category comes which is IND inactivations. There are two cases in which IND is inactivated. First, no subjects are enrolled in a clinical trial for more than two years. And second, when an investigation stays on clinical hold for more than one year. In these two conditions, our IND is inactivated. So again, the same question comes, who initiates this? So this can be initiated by anyone, that means by sponsor or by FDA. And then the next question comes, how to do it? So a pre-inactivation letter will be sent to the sponsor by FDA and then a sponsor can respond to it within 30 days. Now the next question comes, if the IND is inactivated already, then how can we reactivate it? So yes, you can reactivate it and inactive IND can be reactivated through a protocol amendment. So FDA review division will conduct a safety review to determine whether the reactivated IND is safe to proceed or will be placed on a clinical hold within 30 days of receiving your protocol amendment. It is important for us to know that a sponsor is not required to file an annual report when our IND is inactivated. Your IND application can be terminated if there is a safety issue or a significant health hazard or there is a lack of information which is required to assure the safety of the investigational drug. Also, if there is a non-compliance to the approved protocol, that means if a clinical investigations are being conducted substantially different from what was described in the IND protocol. And the fourth case can be when your IND is in inactive stage for more than five years. So in these four cases, your IND can be terminated. Then the same question comes, who initiates this? So the termination is initiated by FD. And how to do that? FDA issues a pre-termination letter to us, that means to sponsor, and sponsor usually have a chance to respond within 30 days of receiving this letter. There is a condition when there is an immediate or substantial danger to the health of the individual. In this case, we do not have chance to respond within 30 days. In that case, our IND will be terminated immediately. 
So once the IND is terminated, the sponsor must terminate all the clinical investigations under that IND and proceed with the recall of the investigation drug. Also, they need to dispose all the unused drug supplies. Okay, so this was all about the IND termination. In today's video, we saw how to end the clinical trials and with this video, we have also completed our nine steps for the IND applications in US. Now in next video series, we'll start with a new topic till then let's